Are you really doing this right now? Hey, bro, I got cabbage, man. That's a bone. I want the cabbage. I want the cabbage. Eat the cab. I'm gonna die. We need jukes, people. We need jukes. Oh, got him. Juked him out. Oh, and the guard just wrecked him. Get wrecked. I'm gonna take that bronze med helmet. How's it going, guys? It's Ryan here, and welcome to Darkscape. Uh, so, I woke up this morning, I went to class, and then in class I was like, Hey, let's check my email. Turns out, this thing is out. This thing came out, uh, and I can't even wait. I'm so excited. It totally caught me off guard. Uh, so yeah, before I start off, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I know about Darkscape, just some background information. Obviously, if you want some more information, uh, you should watch the video that Jagex put out about it. They have probably better information than I do. Uh, but effectively, it is a PvP mode. Uh, it is welcome and free for all players, whether you're a free account or a member's account. Uh, so even if you're a free player and you don't want to pay, you can actually access members' areas as well, which is really, really cool, uh, and I'm super happy about that. Uh, that being said, if you are a member, you get 50% XP uh, bonus, like always, uh, and the other thing you get is you can protect an extra item on death. Uh, now, how it works is it is a PvP darkscape, obviously. It is a PvP-based sort of game mode. It's a different game. It's separate from RuneScape, as you can see. There are four worlds currently. They're all fairly packed with people, which is really nice to see. Uh, and how it works is, if you're in the middle of a city, the wilderness level will be low. It's like the Wildy, so it might be level three. So anyone within three levels of you can attack you. Uh, and the same goes for you attacking people. Now, so if you move out of cities, it moves higher and higher, uh, as if you're going deeper into the wilderness. Uh, so that's about it. That's all I know for now. That's all I'm going to say. If you want some more information, like I said, a link in the description uh, to the video that Jagex posted about it. Uh, but yeah, let's log in for the first time and start this out. I guarantee you I'm going to die right away. Uh, but I think that's kind of part of it. Let me just take my watch off because we don't want to hear that clicking around. And let's go Darkscape game. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I logged in for like two seconds just to mess around with stuff. Uh, just for a second. Um, people are dying. I'm running away from people. Uh, so yeah, there you go. It is level three and low threat area. Guards wander the paths between towns and protect you. Okay, so that's really cool. So I guess if someone tries to kill me, maybe a guard will step in. You know, let's try it. I'm going to attack someone and just see what happens if there's someone who's level 3 or 4. 17 here, you. So what's going to happen? Is a guard going to come up and smack me? Yep. Guard's level 138, bank guard. Okay, so there you go. So there is sort of a bit of protection available in terms of, you know, being saved and stuff. I, obviously, I'm not going to make a pure. There's no point. I'm just going to train up all my stats. Uh, but yeah, the first thing I think I'm going to do is I might actually head to, there's like a mini game in the forest over here that lets you train your prayer up. Okay, the other thing, this mode is in legacy mode. The entire mode is legacy. I did not know that, but that is even hyper. That's even awesomer. I'm so happy with that. Um, not that I have anything against EOC, but if you're making a PvP-based game, I am so happy. That was one of my big questions. So this is actually in legacy mode. This entire thing is legacy. Uh, so that's awesome. That's so cool. Um, how does this work? Low threat areas, medium threat areas, and high threat areas. I do not know how this works. Uh, I'll get back to you on that. Uh, so anyway, guys, let's go and go to this place and train some prayer, I believe. That's probably a decent thing to do. Uh, and we're not going to attack people because that's a good way to get killed by the guards. Uh, so yeah, currently we're level 3, and obviously you don't want to do that. I would do waterfall quest. I just think it's a really, really terrible idea at this point. Uh, because I'm sure there's going to be someone right at the end just picking on you, trying to kill you. Uh, so yeah, that's why I figured it's no point. The purple dots on the map, I'm assuming, are the guards who are going to be there to save you. And like I said, this is a completely new game. It is totally separate from RuneScape. Although, obviously, like, it is RuneScape. It's just, it's Darkscape. It's different. So as you can see, as I get out of Lumbridge, the level is getting higher and higher now. It's level 7, etc. So anyways, I'm going to go to the Nexus and train some prayer for a little bit. Uh, and then I'll probably go and do a couple other little quests and hopefully not get killed. And then before I end this video, I definitely want to kill someone just because that's kind of the point of this. Ooh, giant rat level 7. You know what? I don't want to do that yet. I don't think I'm ready. Uh, the other thing is they said it is sort of like a work in progress. They will be fixing things and changing things as people play it out, obviously, because there's a difference between having five people testing it to having 4,000 or 5,000 that are on right now. So that's kind of why they're doing that. Uh, this guy's level 3, and there's no one protecting him, so I'm going to kill him. Let's go. Good luck. He better not have food. I'm going to be sad if this guy's got food. I'm going to be real sad if this guy's got food. Oh, you better run, buddy. I don't have any energy. Aw. Okay, I have to say, I have not lagged on this game in a very long time. Uh, so I don't know if that's server allocation or they just have a lot more players expected or maybe it's the area. Uh, but I might actually want to turn down my graphics a tiny bit just for this one thing. I've never actually had to do that before. Uh, so maybe for this video, maybe I want to stay away from the Nexus, stay away from these more packed areas. Uh, just because everyone's doing it right now. Because you can get up to like 40-ish prayer, so... That's definitely worth it. And yeah, now my screen is entirely black. Uh, so yeah, maybe I should stay away from some of these areas and go somewhere else. 
yeah, this is not, this is probably not what I wanted. Okay, we're back. I'm going to get away from the Nexus just because it's laggy. There are so many players there. There are probably like 300 players there right now trying to train their prayer up. Uh, so I'm going to do that at a later point. Also, World 205 has better ping for me, so maybe I could do that. Yeah, I'm just going to get away. Oh, what? Okay, when you pop up and you're dead, that's good. All right, so other than lodestones, obviously dailies and DNDs are going to be really good ways to get levels. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to head to the circus right now. You can do this once a week. It gives you agility range and mage XP, so super useful in a PvP-based thing. It gets you better run energy drain and all that. So, wow, it's really dark. Speaking of darkscape, man. I'm yes. What? I just got 12 magic levels. What the heck? Oh, this is so OP. So glad I went here, guys. Go to the circus. Go to the circus ASAP. This is insane. Oh, 14 magic now. That That is so good. That is so worth. Look at this. So now I'm going to be like combat beast and everybody up now. Uh, now, I know they're telling me to blast the book. I just can't really be asked right now. I want to keep going. want to keep moving. Got class pretty soon. Level 15 magic. Okay, guys. Soon as you get in here, go and do, go and do, the, go and do the circus as quickly as possible. I'm going to be like level 20 magic by the end of this. Okay, so leaving the circus, I'm level 10 range, 10 agility, and level 19 magic. My mage performance was really good. And I got some circus point pants and things. I probably don't want to put them on, though, because then people will kill me for them. Uh, so yeah, let's tear the ticket, and let's get out of here. Uh, and now let's go and unlock some lodestones, uh, knowing that we're probably less weak than we were before. Good luck, bud. Good luck, bud. 47, though. Good luck. Good luck. Get wrecked. There you go. The defense level 2, though. Oh, man. I'm going to die. All right, get to the lodestone, get the lodestone, get the, no, get the loads. Oh, did I just attack that guy? Lodestone, go. I love the aggressive dark wizards, though. That takes me back so far. That's so nostalgic and great. I love it. Uh, also, pro tip, there's a little cabbage pack, patch, cabbage pack. I don't know what I'm talking about. There's a little cabbage patch down here. Uh, so if you need some quick foods on the fly, it's probably not a bad way to get it. He's done. You better run, buddy. You better run. This is my cabbage patch now. So, I'm learning things as I go right now, and it looks like you actually can't teleport with items. You can't home teleport, so magic is going to be really useful for tabs and stuff. Oh, cooked meat and crayfish on the ground. What are people doing? That is, like, straight gains. The walking speed is so slow. That level 6 is just wrecking that level 3. No. That's too bad. Rip you. Oh, now he's level 7, though. Come at me. Come at No, not quite. Ooh, Staff of Air, though. That's gains. That's gains. That's gains. Bronze Arrows. Oh, there's a cape. I've got a cape. Protecting him from the Highwayman, and he gets himself a fancy, shiny new cape. I feel like as soon as I put this on, someone's going to kill me. I'm like an insta-target, but it's okay. Oh, and you get wrecked by the guard. Serves you right for picking on the noob. Serves you right. <laughs> That's very funny. Uh, so, we've grabbed the Falador Lodestone, that's super useful, I guess, so anytime we die, we can, you know, pop up in different locations. Uh, but now, I'm gonna get to Taverly and then Berthorp as well. Hmm. Oh, what? I just- no, 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 that was a mistake, didn't mean you- no, 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 you better f You be- f You know what makes that even worse? I don't have- that counts as an item. You know what makes that even worse? The fact that I didn't even click on the lodestone. <laughs> oh no! Because I misclicked on the dude. Oh, mistakes were made. So many mistakes were made, are you kidding me? <laughs> no! I, at some point, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have full bandos, and I'm gonna do that in full bandos, and it's just gonna be the saddest moment ever, like of life. Did I just skull again? Did not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am right click not. That last part. You are in a bad spot. You are in a bad spot. I am gonna. Mistakes are gonna be made. It's not gonna be on purpose. Wow, this is level 20, Willy. Wow. For like the starting place, that's pretty intense. Herbs, people are leaving herbs on the ground. What are people doing? That's mine. Wrecked. A wizard top and a spellstorm drape. I'm gonna take both of those and look like a bamf over here. No, 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 don't misclick. 
I gotta, okay, I am, this is my problem. I'm gonna misclick on everything, and that's gonna be the end of my life. It hit, I know I'm kinda going all over the place. I'm just kinda running around, just getting a feel for how this works. Obviously, in, in the future, I'll have a plan. Like, I didn't have time to make a full game plan, because as soon as this was released, I had class, and I just got home from class. Oh, am I gonna need the talisman? Or nah? Oh, no, no talisman needed. Okay, so, Wicked Hood, we are gonna make ourselves some air runes. Uh, just for some runecrafting XP. Uh, no other real reason, but... You know, it's some good gains. It's actually a lot of levels. Wow, that's a lot of levels. I'm really good with this. Uh, just get up some base stats. Obviously, the best way to get up base stats is questing, but still. Uh, I have no problem doing this. It's a good thing to do every day. And get some more runes going. And that is going to be it. Look at that. That's like eight or nine runecrafting levels. I'm thinking maybe nine. Yeah, nine runecrafting levels just like that. Well, one to nine. Uh, and some air runes to work with. And the other thing you can do is you can say runes, air runes. Pull them out of the hood. And yeah, now I've got lots of runes. Gains, look at this. Ready? Loot inventory on. No, work. Boom. <laughs> oh, I like this. I'm totally down for this, honestly. I'm just going to stick around here for a little bit if it's going to be like this. Oh, are you serious? No, 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 no. I'm dead. Really? Really? I lost my, my cape! Here we go boys, 13 agility! Let's get it, and there's 13 By the way guys, if you are anything like me and you keep misclicking all the time, uh, you can actually turn on one button gameplay, and what that'll do is every single click you make will be a right click, and then you'd be able to just... It takes a little longer, so for me, I'm just gonna sort of pay attention and figure out how there's 14 agility, by the way. Figure out how to not misclick on people all the time and just get used to it that way but if you are like chronically misclicking on everything kind of like me a little earlier and you just you cannot break break the just you know clicking like this on everything uh that is definitely a really good option uh at least temporarily while everything is so busy because like as you can see i'm sculled like if i brought stuff yeah it could be bad in the future there we go there's level 15 agility that's what i wanted to do i uh, just get it up a little bit i mean obviously that's not so high up that it's amazing but it gives me access to a couple other areas that are nice and most importantly the run energy thing i was just like i can't keep slowly walking by the agility shortcut it's like i, I kind of got to train it a bit uh, so there we go it's trained we did the wicked hood i don't really think i need a dwarven army axe at this point to be honest with you guys uh, so yeah, I think if I can, I'm gonna train crafting. It's really slow at low levels, but then again, that's kind of how this game works. As as you train, everything gets faster. So, yeah, this is this is really, really the one tree. I, I, I wanted to show one tree for the video. There you go. There's the one tree, and we're gonna get level two agility. So now I have to show you guys this tree as well. Sorry, level two wood cutting. I can speak. Uh, so any hour now, when I decide to finish cutting down the thing. Oh, also, look at my swaggy character. I just really rushed because I got home from class and I was like, you know what, I want to get this video out. So I didn't really put much attention into what my character looked like, and now I kind of regret that, honestly. Uh, so yeah, there's level 2 woodcutting. I better not die. I'm going to be so upset if I die. Uh, just because, you know, it's kind of tedious when you get all this stuff, and then you die and lose it all. But that is why I love this game mode. That's why it's so much fun. You know, you really get to hurt people when you kill them. So, you know what, if I get killed for things, I do not blame the people killing me whatsoever. I mean, the satisfaction knowing that someone just had to run all over the place, that better not be for me. No. The fa <laughs> just the satisfaction knowing that, like, I had to go to Bob's, and then I had to go to the general store, and then I'd go back to Bob's just to get all my supplies, and then someone can just take it all away. I mean, there's the knife. Thank you, Wiki, for that. Official RuneScape Wiki, being a beast. There we go, level 8 woodcutting coming in. Here we go, level 9 woodcutting coming in. Any hour now, game. Any hour now. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Chop the tree. Chop the tree. Chop the tree. I have faith. I have faith. You're going to get this tree caught down. I know you can do it. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's. There we go. Level 9. One more level, and then we... There's level 10 woodcutting. Uh, so, it's time to- don't do it. Every time someone comes near me, I'm just so terrified they're gonna kill me and take all my things away. Sell items, 3 GP each. Sell all. There is my first 1k GP though. 1k. I am high rolling right now. Alright guys, so I'm gonna see if this works, but I've actually edited my loot inventory setting, so I'm only looting prayer items and crafting items. So what that should do is, it's not gonna give me the raw beef, it's just gonna give me either bones or cow hides, which is perfect for me, that's exactly what I want, so loot custom. There we go, so that's perfect, so that's what I want. So I'm bearing the bones, I'm getting some, obviously this isn't like the best way to train prayer or anything, but it's a decent way, and I'm just gonna keep standing here and pressing loot custom. That's it. Loot custom, and they're popping up as fast as I can bury the bones. So that's perfect. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here now. Wow, this is really fast XP. 
this is going to be like a lot of levels real quick. Uh, so I'll check in with you guys in a couple minutes once I've got some crafting levels. 50 XP per, this is really fast. Here's the lever. Go, pull, pull, pull the thing before I die. Okay. I'm safe because this guy, level 54 guy over here is training. Is that a Slayer Helm? No. No, I was going to say, better not have a Slayer Helm. That would be real sad. Uh, that'd make me real sad because I'm like level 19 right now. There we go. I am a genius. He figures it out. There's the chest right there. So that's where my 10k is going to come from. Uh, but getting out with it might be a bit of a struggle. So yeah, I'm going to try and not die on my way out. I do have a decent amount of food. Uh, but this is going to be intense as, man, trying to get out of here with my 10k. Because 10k is a big deal too. Like that's a lot of money. Especially starting out. There's 10k and the safety gloves. Okay. And the lamps. Use the lamps on like Herb Lord, maybe. Uh, so yeah, I guess there's no way to get out of here, right? I can't teleport. I really probably should have just got my magic up slightly higher so that I could use uh, Varrock teleport and then just tell it to Varrock, but I should be okay. Other thing is, if anyone gets on me, I can entangle them, so I should be okay. I should be okay. Okay, so I'm going to rub these lamps. Boom, there we go. Oh, XP lamps are doubled as well. Uh, so there's 2,000 Herblore XP, that is level 13 Herblore, I just thought, you know, that's probably a good skill to get up. Obviously, I could have used it on a number of other skills that would have been good to get up. Uh, but, you know, now I can make Antipoison and, you know, a couple other things, so it's decent. I am about to get level 25 Magic, which is what I wanted to get, so that's awesome. Unless these people keep piling me, in which case, I'll probably still get it. Uh, if that hit is big enough, yeah, I'll probably get it right there. Uh, so that's going to be level 25 Magic, is it? No, not quite. Oh, it's so close, it's so close. Alright, I'll, I'll give this guy, like, a couple quick taps. Uh, yeah, 57 XP off. Uh, so yeah, there is level 25 magic coming in. That means I can teleport to Verhawk. Um, probably next time I log in, I'll probably be able to buy some law runes off GE, maybe. Alrighty, guys, I just got a clue scroll. I'm just training on men before I go and boost at people at, like, Sears Village. I thought, you know, I probably want to get, like, 5 or 10 attack first just so that I can hit people a little bit. Uh, and gets the easy clue, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, <laughs> look at these guys! People are so salty. I'm Look at how slow all the teleports are. They all take a really long time. That's so that you can't use anything to teleport out quickly, uh, which I actually really like. It's the same thing for logging out and going to the lobby. I don't know how X logging works, but uh, currently if you want to go to the lobby, it takes like 10 seconds. So it's really cool. It means if you see a team or something, you can't just like log out and dip, uh, which I think is a really cool update implementation. I think they actually did a good job kind of looking into that before they released this into the game. Uh, yeah, as you can see, level 10 now, we're just getting some more gains, getting some more uh, daily Wicked Hood gains. I'm going to be doing this every day just because uh, eventually I'll be able to get to some of the better altars. And it's a good way to make money, good way to get some XP, uh, good way to get some base stats as well. Because we're probably, we're nearing, yeah, we just hit 200 total as well, uh, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, getting up there, look at us, making so much progress already. Alrighty guys, this probably seems kind of random, uh, but we're coming in with 17 prayer in a minute. Uh, oh, you better not have, nope, that better be a misclick or I will not be happy with you. You're not ruining my clip. Mr. Mrs. K. Wilt. Nope. We're about to get level 17 prayer. I'm going to go for 25 at least here. I might just stick around here. I actually just got a new laptop for recording and stuff. Uh, so I'm actually setting it up right now uh, while I do this. So yeah, it's a good, decent AFK thing to do while you, you know, set up a laptop or something. So yeah, I'm definitely going to get 25. Uh, might even go a little further than that, uh, depending on how good it is. So yeah. Someone just attack me. Hell no. I'm going to kill you. Really praying to? If I die, I'm going to be really pissed, because that was... I was about to end the video. Uh, what do I do? Oh no, I'm going to die. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Alrighty, guys. Uh, so that's going to end off this video. I can't really be bothered to run all the way back there just for uh, a couple more XP, because I did say I was going to stop at 25 prayer. Uh, so anyway, guys, uh, this is going to be me getting a level 25 prayer. Right here should be on the fourth bone. There you go, 25 prayer, so now I can use protect item. Uh, what I'm going to do before I end this video is I'm going to make it my quick prayer. Obviously, that seems like a good thing to do, uh, just, you know, so I can protect the things. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I wish I could have gone for longer, but I only had a couple hours today. Very busy with classes, and I wanted to get it out as early as possible for you guys. Uh, so anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like and check out my other stuff. Uh, have a good one, guys, and peace out.